welcome back to my channel it is your girl styled by stacy j and i just thought we could sit down and do a quick catch up slash get ready with me summer makeup edition so um if you follow me on instagram you probably have seen that i moved out of california um just the background on it is that we're military and this is just our next duty station and we also just sorry my dog is like breathing so hard stop sorry my dog is like breathing so hard we just happen to be from california and this is probably the easiest transition that we're gonna get in the military so yeah we are in Louisville, Kentucky. I've never been to Louisville, so at least at least wanted um, somewhere kind of new, like somewhat new. We want it somewhere that's like somewhat new. We're not from Louisville, Kentucky. We are both from like other parts of Kentucky. I'm from Lexington. And that's where he and I met in high school in Lexington. Fun fact. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna wear foundation today, actually. Hmm, I guess I will. I don't really wanna wear foundation. And I can't find my skin tint. Everything is still very packed up. I don't have like all my makeup in one spot yet. Everything is in boxes. We did like the military move and it was literally the worst movers I've ever had in my life. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like none of the boxes made sense. They have to like pack your stuff. You can't do it yourself. Not a fan. Don't recommend if you're military, but we, I'm pregnant. I'm in my third trimester now. I'm pregnant and I just didn't have the energy nor the time to really do it myself which sucks because I'm like super particular about stuff like that but anywho let's rewind back like the past two months so I've been staying with Hayden's parents while he has been in recruiting school For those of you who don't know, recruiting school is basically like where they go to school to learn how to do recruiting, which is Hayden's next job and which is why we're in Kentucky. So obviously we're not going to be here forever, but we are going to be here for the next um, three, maybe three years, maybe four. And that is his next job. So he obviously had to get trained to do that particular job. And I stayed with his parents, with um, Elias. And that is where I have been. I mean, that's why I haven't really been filming and stuff because you can't, I don't know, I didn't have my own space. Like they're super awesome, super sweet for helping us out. Letting us stay there until we closed out a house. I also went house hunting with my sister here um so i was just busy house hunting pregnant with a baby and we were like on crunch time so i like wasn't trying to rush the process but we had to rush the process because by the time hayden moved out here himself because he flew me and elias and he drove and just had our stuff delivered to the new house we needed an actual address so um, I picture this, like, I was like four or five months pregnant, looking at eight to 10 houses per day. God bless my, thank God my sister's a realtor and God bless her and my father-in-law for all the help because I was just sick. I don't have good pregnancies, just a little FYI. Um, for those of you who don't know, I do not have good pregnancies. They are not fun for me. I don't enjoy being pregnant. I am sick 
literally the whole time literally the whole time up until i give birth like last time i like i was nauseous my whole pregnancy with elias and literally threw up while in labor with him constantly and i feel like i'm even more nauseous this time and it has just been no fun but um although I don't want to live in Kentucky forever. I do think that the time in our lives to move back momentarily is nice. Um, and it's just good timing because we can like reset. We're in like a place that's kind of familiar. We, we did sit down and talk about this decision because he did pick and I know people are probably like, why did you pick Kentucky? Because like I'm pregnant with my second, I'm going back to school, I'm gonna be having two kids, I'm, I'm gonna need help. He's not gonna be home a lot because he's recruiting and that's like a demanding job and I literally just might not see him a lot some days. But we did like, in terms of family planning, we wanted our kids very, very close in age. Um, my sister and I are nine years apart and we are best friends now, but we did not get close until I was in like middle school going into high school. But for him, he has four or three brothers. I always want to say four. And literally they are all like no more than two years apart. I feel like minus like the first two and the babies. And then he has like a younger sister, which is like the baby baby. But I mean like out of the boys, like they are just like, I feel like they had them in sets. So they're like bestie, bestie, besties. And that's what I wanted for my kids personally. Um, that and I don't, if I'm gonna have more than one, which Hayden really wants more than one. And I wanted, I wanted a friend for Elias. Like I did want more than one, but if I was gonna do that, I said, if we wait any longer than two years, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Mom's gotta get her sleep. I'm not doing it again. But onto our new house, I do love it actually. My sister, ironically, I live like less than 10 minutes away from my sister, which we love. I've been over there like 20 times. And then from Hayden's parents, I li we live like about a few hours well, it's an hour away, I would say, depending on the time of day, traffic, an hour and some change, but I like our location. I love like, I really do love our new house and it is our first house purchase. So that is always super exciting. Um, yeah. The hardest thing about getting adjusted right now is for sure, one, I don't have anything. We kind of wanted to start over because when we lived at Pendleton, um, like I, I bought, I didn't buy like a lot of nice things. Like I bought stuff with the like knowledge that we're gonna move. So what's the point? I, and I feel like a lot of military spouses think like this, which is practical. We're gonna move in X amount of years. Why am I splurging when we're about to go when I don't want a ton packed up? Sorry if you guys can hear screaming. The neighbor's kids are playing outside. And sounds like they're having a blast. Anyway, but yeah, just that mentality of like, we're gonna move, why am I gonna go crazy on splurging? But yada, 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 excuse me. Like the acid reflux has got to stop. But yada, yada, yada. Why would I, you know, get nice things? Why would I decorate? Why would I do this? Why would I do that? Literally, there's like a handful of things that I really cared about and we just trashed the rest, but I still have like boxes to unpack. They just did a funky job packing. I don't know. So we have like more boxes than I feel like 
to unpack and I wish I wasn't pregnant so I can go ahead and go through my wardrobe. <clears throat> Excuse me because I don't love my wardrobe. I hadn't liked it for a really long time but ever since leaving um, my last retail job I've just hated it because we were like forced to buy a lot of the clothes it's like your uniform and I was like training to be a manager at the time and oh it's just so freaking annoying and you couldn't shop anywhere where you could like you could but you just couldn't wear it to work without hearing -na 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 -na. it's a pain in the ass man and then like as a result working there for like two years I had a shit ton of clothes that I don't freaking like so I definitely once I'm once I've had this baby, I I don't even want to wait until I've had the baby because I just don't like a lot of the stuff that I have. But I also feel like my styles change. Like I want a little bit more of like a sexy grown woman elevated. And I feel like my style still gives like college transition age. Which is not what I'm trying to give, but that's all. But I still want to be trendy. Like I don't want to look old lady. I just want to look mature, sexy, and I just feel like it's not always giving that. And I probably wear the same five, six outfits. But then I'm too scared to get rid of anything because <laughs> I'm like, what if I need it? So yeah. And then in the midst of all of that, my older sister had her baby, which I love him so much. Being an auntie, she really did her big one making me one. Um, his name's RJ. Elias is obsessed and it's actually perfect timing because um, we've been like getting Elias prepared to be an older brother. And I feel like he is excited to have a friend. And I say that because, um, I say that because we bought him this book called How to Be a Big Brother. Well, his grandparents did, uh, hate his parents, not my mom. And it's called How to Be a Big Brother and he is so excited. And then like he saw RJ for the first time and he was like, pat the baby rock the baby like he's so sweet and so tender i'm not super worried about him and the baby except for like sleeping i think that might be a thing but we'll cross that bridge if and when we get there i can't really can't really complain too much but i am kind of anxious about the recovery process from this pregnancy. I'm not gonna lie, if I'm being 100% transparent. Um, we plan as of right now, which minds can change, things can happen, but as of right now, we plan on this being our last kid. Um, and I am nervous about like adjusting with two kids in the midst of like me wanting to go back to school. By the time we leave um, Kentucky, it's like Hayden's duty station. I wanna be done with school. Um, I don't know if I've even told anyone that I'm going back to school because I've struggled with like my age and going back and just, I know I'm not even that old, but um, I just feel like I plan on being in a different spot mentally in my life and and just where I want it to be and what I want it to do right now. And it has put me in the dumps a little. It's made me a little depressed, I'm not gonna lie. In terms of that, like the the career side of my life is not where I want it to be. But the family side is like where I wanna be. But um, I'm gonna be going back to school for da -da -da -da, nursing. Um, and there are a number of things that made me realize what I guess 
other people already knew, but there are a number of things to make me realize that I really enjoy taking care of people. I just didn't know, like I've always known I like taking care of people. I just didn't know, like meant, I didn't connect the dots of how to put that into your career. But yeah, I mean, hopefully my mind doesn't change, but as of right now, it's a nursing. I've kind of had it set on that for a while. Um, I want to go back into nursing just because my mom has an, um, an autoimmune disease and I love taking care of her. That actually happened like before I got married, like maybe five years ago now. And she completely lost the ability to walk almost in, like just insanely fast. And she struggled a lot with it. And like in those early stages is where that was happening. I was just really, God, they're making so much damn noise. I mean, they're kids, who cares, but damn. Um, but I was just really there for her in like the early stages. I love my mom so much, she's my best friend. But it's scary to see someone go through that and at first not even know what's happening or if it's curable, etc. But I don't want to give away too much because it's not my disease to talk about. But it's a very rare autoimmune disease and it resembles MS a lot. It's not MS, but it resembles it. And that's probably the first time I thought, and I even at the time when it was happening, I had thought about being like her caretaker, like getting certified with the state to become her caretaker because love my mom. Um, but yeah, seeing that was not easy, but it also like, I enjoyed being able to like take care of her and do those things for her. And I know it's different when it's your parents instead of a stranger, but that is probably the first time. And then the next time I would say um, was like that made that thought come back up in my head was after I gave birth, I was like, why am I not a nurse? Literally. I had awesome nurses. I know not all nurses are created equal because I've had my fair share of bad ones, but I had some awesome nurses in my time and I've also had some bad ones. And then while I lived on Pendleton, I was talking to another spouse slash mom who's kind of in the same boat as I am, but she's almost, she's a little older than me and she's almost finished. And she has four kids and she can do it with four. I can do it with with two, right? I hope. Um, yeah, it just made me realize how much I love the medical industry and, well, how fascinating I find the medical industry to be. I don't really love it. It doesn't treat everyone fairly all the time. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, like, medicine fascinates me. And the career that I had before that was, like, somewhat of a career but I used to do like project management slash digital marketing at first um and then I slowly started to not like it or not be as passionate about it as time went on it's extremely hard to find a job in that because it's an oversaturated field I have a degree in fashion merchandising and I did not want to work in a store anymore I'm done with retail I'm sorry and you know unless you live in New York or something it's really hard to get away from that sector with that degree there's just not much you can do with it and I just wish Maybe I thought about that a little more before picking that. Fun fact, I did. I looked back when I was ordering my transcript at my first major that I picked. And it was it was um, sports medicine because I wanted to study like injuries and stuff like that. And I, rem I remember the conversation with my mom with me like dropping out of that into something else she's like no no you can do it and I was like just intimidated that they were going to be like 
a ton of guys in the field. And I was like, no one's gonna take me seriously. I'm a girl and I wanna do sports medicine. But granted, I did go to school in the South, but like, who cares? I wish I would've stuck it out, but shoulda, woulda, coulda. Oh, well. Life is way too short to like sit and ponder regrets, which is something I'm like working on personally. Because if you just sit in the past and compare, you're just gonna beat yourself up about it when you can be being proactive and doing something about it. So I'm trying to do the latter and be proactive and do something about it and just work towards the life that I do want. And I also think with nursing comes a lot of flexibility. I'm a military spouse. So when we move, it'd be a better chance of me getting a job for one. <laughs> To, um, it's it's good like job security, good pay, um, depending on what field you work in, what you do, but still there's like a variety of options. And I think that that would be doable for me to balance with content creation. I hope because if I'm only working like two, three days a week, and then I content create the rest. I could still do my passion and my job, which is not the case with uh, marketing and project management like people think it is. Like I'm sure it's totally doable, but I did a lot of like heavy social media, which took time away from my own social media. And that is really bummy, but it happens, you know? um yeah but anywho we are overall just excited um what this move can do for us in terms of like a reset and just what's best for our family right now um yeah Personally, I'm really excited to like explore Louisville. It's a pretty cool city in my opinion, at least from what I've seen. Like my mom and sister live here in Louisville and they lived here since I got married and moved away. Um, but I think it's pretty dang cute. It, it kind of gives me, I haven't been traveling in a minute, but it kind of gives me, um, like a more urban Charlotte. I've only been in Charlotte, North Carolina for a few seconds at a time for like layovers and traveling, but that's kind of the vibe I get. So I'm super excited. Are we going anywhere today? But I'm gonna put on some lipstick just to put on some lipstick. cannot wait to be done with like unpacking and having all my makeup in one place but I have to get a new vanity and I'm being very picky because my last vanity I didn't love and um again like I did with most of our furniture at our old place I just had it just for function not because I actually liked it And this time Hayden's like, will you please get a vanity? Like you spend so much time doing your makeup, doing this and that, like get a vanity that you like. So I'm really taking my time and looking for one. So my next few videos might be on this floor in this corner. Uh, I will be showing you guys the house once we clear out some of these boxes because we've been unpacking and then putting the boxes that we need to break down in this one room and everything's just kind of a mess right now which does give me a little bit of anxiety i hate having like a cluttered space but rome wasn't built in a day so there we go thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video and just i just love sitting down and catching up with you guys and just talking about where I'm at, what I'm doing, hoping that like maybe it's relatable to someone or 
someone's going through the same thing or entertain or just something like that but just sitting down it feels like i had this girl i needed this girl talk thank you so much guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video